हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड टाइम रिवर्सल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कंटीन्यूस टाइम फॉर एयर ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ लेट अस राइट दिस स्टेटमेंट इट स्टेट्स दैट इफ x ऑफ t फॉर दिस इफ यू परफॉर्म फॉर एयर ट्रांसफॉर्म इट विल बी x ऑफ j ओमेगा देन y of t which is equal to x of minus t for this if we perform for a transform we should obtain y of j omega that is equal to x of minus j omega now let us prove this let us take y of j omega which is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity y of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt so this is the standard formula for continuous time fourier transform now in place of y of t let us replace x of minus t so if we replace x of minus t we will obtain y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of minus t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now let us put minus t is equal to p so at that case we can put dt is equal to minus dp therefore above equation will be y of j omega will be equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of p exponential to the power of minus j omega of minus p minus dp now if we compare this equation with the above equation so here in place of t we are having minus p so that's why we can write this equation as y of j omega is equal to x of minus j omega so this is the proof in this lecture let us understand duality property of continuous time fourier transform first let us write this statement it states that if x of t for this if we perform fourier transform we'll obtain x of j omega then for x of j t if we perform fourier transform we should obtain 2 pi x of minus omega now let us prove this proof we can write the inverse fourier transform as x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j omega into exponential to the power of j omega t d omega now let us interchange t and omega therefore we can write in place of t let us write omega x of omega is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j t in place of omega we are writing t exponential to the power of j omega t dt let us replace omega by minus omega therefore we can write above equation as x of minus omega in place of omega will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j t exponential to the power of minus j omega t in place of omega we are writing minus omega here dt if we multiply this 2 pi term towards lhs we'll obtain 2 pi x of minus omega will be equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of j t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us call this as equation number 1 let us write the standard expression for continuous time fourier transform which is x of j omega that can be written as integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us call this as equation number 2 now let us compare equation 1 and equation number to so for a transform of x of t we will obtain x of j omega 
So in the same way we can say if we take Fourier transform of x of j t we will obtain 2 pi x of minus omega. So therefore by comparing these two we can say x of j t for this if we take Fourier transform we will obtain 2 pi x of minus omega. So this is the proof. Now let us understand the symmetry property of continuous time Fourier transform. Here we need to remember the statement so that it is helpful for us to solve the problem. Let us write the statement if x of t for this if we perform Fourier transform we will obtain x of j omega then we can write for x of t which is real if we perform Fourier transform we will obtain x conjugate of j omega that is equal to x of minus j omega for x of t which is imaginary for this if we perform Fourier transform we will obtain x conjugate of j omega that is equal to minus x of minus j omega if x of t is real and even for this if you perform Fourier transform we will obtain imaginary part of x of j omega that is equal to 0 and if x of t is real and odd for this if you perform Fourier transform we should obtain the real part of x of j omega that should be equal to 0. So this is the property of symmetry for continuous time Fourier transform. Remember this property so that it is helpful for us to solve the problems. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you. <laughs>